I'm going to draw the line. You'll get Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63. And at the end of the day, like we always say, these scriptures can't be erased. These people are telling us, don't read the book. Uh, uh, matter of fact, get that in 2 Ezra 6. He saw the end of the world. They're telling us, don't read the Apocrypha. You know, just don't read it. Because the scriptures, like we're getting ready to read right here, they want to tell us that Edom is done away with. All right? And they know they can't do it. Especially when you're dealing with the Apocrypha. So instead, they'll come and just take the whole book out of the Bible. But wait a minute. The Bible says if you add to the scripture or you take away from the scripture, God's going to add to you the plagues, right? But this white man don't got to go through that. You know what I'm saying? He can just take whole verses out of the new Bibles, like the Novus Witness. He's got a Bible up there with all kinds of scriptures deleted. That's okay. They can take the whole Bible out and uh, take the Apocrypha out of the Bible. Hey, that's okay. They're running around passing around New Testament only Bibles. You know what I'm saying? Acting as if they're doing you a favor, but really they're trying to keep you from seeing what the Bible says, all right? And you blacks and Hispanics, you guys are the children of God. All right? That's right. right. Don't let nobody lie to you guys about that, all right? Uh -huh. Go ahead. This is 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 8 and 9. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when right. Jacob and Esau were born of him. That's what I say, you deal with these Christians, right? They'll go to Genesis, the 25th chapter, and read about Jacob and Esau being born. They see that there's a parable going on when his brother comes out holding on to Esau's hip. They cannot tell you what the hell that means. The only way they can tell you what that means is that they're going into the Apocrypha. But since they ripped the Apocrypha out, they just have to act like that whole thing in the Bible means nothing, but that had a meaning, right? Let's read it, go ahead. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, the black, the Hispanics, and the natives. Edom, Edom or Esau, is the father of the Caucasians, all right? Go ahead. For Esau is the end of the world. Right there, Esau's the end of the world. But wait a minute, how can he be the end of the world if he's already gone? Oh, 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 wait a minute, they stopped, the Edomites stopped being a, a distinct people group. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, but it says right here that right. now we see why right. these guys had to take these whole books out of the Bible. It's like, you know, they're going to, they're going to the, uh, these new versions where they're changing little words, they're taking little stuff out. When it comes to the Apocrypha, they say, man, the hell with it, man. Let's just rip the whole thing out of there. You know what I'm saying? We can't have this in here. This looks bad, right? Bring it up. <laughs> Esau is the end of the world. The white man is the end of the world. His Ooh. people will be on top at the very, very end of the world. We know that we are in the last days, all right? Esau is the end of the world. Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is the reason why there's 12 gates in Revelation, all right? Ooh. There's a reason why there's 12,000 uh, from each tribe, which make up the 144,000, that get the seal of God on their head. They're all Israelites, all right? It's the same thing, because Jacob is the beginning of that which followeth, all right? Bring out what you got. Go on. This is the book of Isaiah. These people are liars, man, and it's crazy. These guys go to these theologian seminary schools and pay all this money. They give them a certificate so they can go and start a black church and, and regurgitate lie after lie after lie after lie. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says Satan deceived the whole world. That's why everybody looks at us like we're crazy when we tell the truth and read it right out of the Bible, all right? With no twisting up, all right? Go ahead. Done. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 1. Read it out. Who is this that cometh? From Edom. See what I'm saying? These guys want to tell us that Edom is gone, all right? But now we're reading about a future prophecy from Isaiah. Who is this that cometh from Edom? All right, go ahead. Cut. With dyed garments from Basra. All right, so he had a dyed garments, okay? So if he had dyed garments on, they were red for a reason. Let's figure out why they were red. And for people who don't know, this is talking about the one the world calls Jesus Christ. That's right. right. This is in the Old Testament. He told you that the whole book was written of him, all right? Isaiah was talking about him. During the time of the Babylonian Empire, Isaiah was talking about, him, right? Go ahead. God. This that is glorious in his apparel, right? Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Right, so Isaiah's seeing a vision of a man with a with, 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 with uh, a garment on that's dyed red, alright? That's traveling in the greatness of his strength, right? Go ahead. God. Traveling in the greatness of his strength, right? I that speak in righteousness. Mighty to save. Right, so we know who's the one that's mighty to save, all right? That's the one the world calls Jesus Christ. Our Hamashiach Yahweh all right? The savior of the nation of Israel, all right? And our redeemer, all right? Go ahead. Go on. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? So now he's trying to figure out what's going on in this vision that he's seeing. He's asking Yahweh Shai, what why are you red in your apparel, right? Go ahead. Go on. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Now, why do your garments look like you've been running through the wine press? Like you've been running through grapes. That's how red his garment was, right? Go ahead. I have trodden the slot it. I have trodden the wine press alone. He said he tried it all by himself. Alright, so we know this is Jesus talking, right? Go ahead. And if the people there was not with me. And the people there was none with me, go ahead. 
for I will tread them in my anger. So he just said he was coming from Edom and that his, his garments are red because he was going to tread them in his anger. This is what Jesus said, all right? The pastor lied to you, go ahead. Done. And trample them in my fury. He said he's going to trample them in his fury when he's coming from Edom. Go ahead. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment. This is what Jesus said. He said that his garment looked like he had tried in the wine press because their blood was going to be all over his damn clothes. Man. That's right. So you can imagine that he has to be in the heavens mad about all the lies that have been told on him mm -hmm. since he left this earth. All right. That's you know, right. Like he's going to come back doing a whole bunch of kissing and hugging. There's a nation of people who have done nothing but slaughter his nation of people since their existence. All right. They got to pay for that. And they think he forgot because they told a bunch of lies that don't work. We're reading what he said he's going to do. Nobody can change what the word of the Bible said, man, even though they try, right? Go ahead. God. And I will stain all my raiment. I'm going to stain all my raiment. What am I going to stain it with? Juice? No. It's going to be stained with their blood, right? right? Go ahead. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. People don't understand that the Christ is in the heavens with the day of vengeance in his heart. People don't like to hear this, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this challenge is what they've been taught their entire life, all right? They've had a Bible in their house their whole life and never once has that ever been read to them, you know what I'm saying? So that makes them mad at us. But what did Jesus say? Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, all right? That's how this thing is supposed to go. The Bible said that when the real prophets come, people don't listen to them. They put the real prophets to death. If we were saying something that was making everybody happy, you guys should think, okay, something's going on, all right? This is exactly how it's supposed to work. Nobody's supposed to listen, and then when that day comes, everybody's going to call out for help to God. He ain't going to hear them, all right? Go ahead. Done. And the year of my uh, and the year of my redeemed right. is come. And the year of my redeemed is come, all right? Yahweh Shai said there's a day of vengeance. The one the world called Jesus said there's a day of vengeance in his heart, all right? The year of his redeemed has come, all right? These people don't want this year of redeemed to come. They're acting like none of this is even in here. They, all this has to be erased for their little, for, for this guy and his doctrine to flourish. The I love everybody doctrine, the white boy Roy doctrine, all right? Done. Verse five. And I looked, and there was none to help me. There was none to help him. Go ahead. And I wondered right. that there was none to uphold. Right. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me. So we know that this is Christ. My own arm brought salvation unto me. We know who's bringing salvation, all right? We know who the Lord put that task in the hands of, all right? Who he gave that power to, all right? And he's talking about it right now. He just told you he's going to run through a whole nation of people and their blood's going to be all over his clothes. There ain't no way to get out of that, man. All you can do is just act like that's not in the Bible, but that's written right there, all right? Go ahead. God, now we know why they had to have a slave Bible, right? <laughs> wait, wait, that's more. That's just another saga of them trying right. to take books and change in the Bible, right? right? But we're wrong for saying that they got to pay for that. Didn't God say, who is going to rise up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right, go ahead. God. And my fury, it upheld me. And my fury, it upheld me. Is there anyone there? God, verse 6. Go ahead. And I will tread down the people in my anger. This is what Jesus Christ said in the Bible. I will tread down the people in my anger. That don't sound like nothing you've ever heard Jesus say in church, has it? Because they're lying in that damn church, right? Go ahead. And make them drunk in my fury. Make them drunk in my fury. People got hell to pay, man. People thought God was playing when he said, whoever touches the Israelites, touch the apple of his eye. You guys thought Jacob was playing when he blessed his, or when, or when Isaac blessed his son Jacob and told him that whoever blesses you gets blessings, but whoever curses you gets curses. You guys thought that was a lie in the Bible, that wasn't no lie. And we're right. living in that day where you're hearing about it before it happens, all right? The Lord wants you to hear before this destruction comes, all right? That's right. Go ahead. Done. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. And I bring their strength down to the earth because right now the white man is high as hell, man. He's high as the clouds, all right? He, the Bible says he sets his nest among the stars, all right? And at the end of the day, he's the devil, all right? He's the one that was uh, the Lord ordained to deceive the whole entire world, all right? No getting around that. Like I said, if you go to, if you go to Afghanistan, right? You're gonna see some stuff that has to do with Allah over there. They're gonna have Allah stuff all over the place. You go to China, you're gonna see some stuff with Buddha. Over here in America is where they push the devil at you from this white man. Where's that Google sound, right? This is the truth. You're not gonna find stuff like this over there with uh, dealing with the Arabs, because they're over there with dealing with, uh, uh, with Muslims, right? So this 666, right? The little sneaky six on our face. Th this comes in America, right? You got Monster Energy Drink, right? People watch the, uh, what's it called, uh, UFC. You got a big old 666 sign right on the floor right in front of you, right? When you turn on MTV, what do you see? 
rappers and, and, and celebrities selling themselves to Satan, right? That is right, that, that's coming right from the white man. He's the one pushing all of the demonic satanic uh, vibration throughout the whole entire earth, all right? We all know if it doesn't come from the most high, it comes from the devil. So that Allah crap, all that's of the devil too. That's this right. white man is directly pushing Satan in front of people's face because he is Satan, man. There's no getting around, and he knows that. And the fact that he can push that in front of everybody's face and still have us wondering, look, I wonder if this guy's the devil, shows you what type of deceptive bastard he is, man. The Lord made him to be this wicked, man. And the Lord is perfect, right? So if he made this guy to be like that, you know he's gonna be great at it, man. You got something you're holding on? Uh, I'm trying to wait and see if it's the right time. Okay, come on, let me get, um, did we already get Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel the 36 chapter? So I can know what else. Let's read the whole thing, you got? Oh, yeah, so just keep reading. Oh, go ahead and read that. Read it, read it, read it out. This is uh, Genesis doing, 22 and 17. You, doing, <laughs> you know you're an Israelite? All right, my bad. Go ahead, brother. This is Genesis 22 and 17. That in blessing I will bless thee, mm -hmm. and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed. That's right. As the stars of the heaven. As the stars of the heaven, right. And as the sand which is upon the seashore. Right. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Very, very good. And that's the blessing. We're going to possess the gate of our enemies. You bless the Israelites, you get blessings. You curse the Israelites, you get cursed. You know what I mean? Yeah, but. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Right, and that's what the earth's going to be blessed. That's right. There you go. You see that? that? Is it your 36th chapter? Come on, first one? Uh, yeah, sorry, but we'll read the whole thing. Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 1. Right. Also, thou son of man, right. prophesy unto the mountains right. of Israel, right. and say, ye mountains of Israel, come. My bad. No, you go. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 1. Right. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, right. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, right. And prophesy against it. So the Lord said prophesy against it. That means something good's not coming from the Lord about Mount Seir, all right? He called Mount Seir out by name, all right? And like I said, if you don't know who the Bible's talking to, it's very easy to just read over this and apply it to whoever you want or to just forget about it because you don't know who it's talking about. But this is to a specific nation of people, all right? It said Mount Seir. So this is not something directed to everybody on the planet, just to one nation of people, all right? This is a judgment against Mount Seir which I'll just go ahead and tell you is talking to the Caucasians, all right? That's this right. is your guys' judgment in the Bible. Everybody has one, all right? We have one too, so don't feel singled out when we say that this is your judgment. But feel singled out when we say you got no repentance coming, all right? Go ahead, go on. Verse three, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord God. So what we're telling the Caucasians is this is what God said. Thus saith the Lord God. We know that you guys can't yell at God, so you'll get mad at us for telling you this, but he said tell him anyway, right? Go ahead. God, behold, O Mount Seir, right? I am against thee. God's against y'all, man. We didn't write that, you know what I'm saying? That's what he said, you know, period, point blank. Only thing you can say is, well, that Mount Seir, that's not talking about it. No, it is talking about y'all. And we can go to all the scriptures to prove it, that we believe it's talking about y'all. You can't go to them to show that it's not. Only thing you guys can do is say, the Edomites already done away with, because you know damn well it's talking about y'all, man. Go ahead, come on. I am against thee. And I will stretch out mine hand against thee. The Lord said he is against thee. And he's going to stretch his hand out against thee. All right? Go ahead. And I will make thee most desolate. Right? He's going to make you most desolate. This is, this is your future, according to the Bible. Go ahead. Cut. I will lay thy cities waste. Right? And thou shalt be desolate. That's right. The Bible said this place is going to be destroyed by thermal no nuclear missiles, man. I just said right there, I'm going to lay your cities waste, all right? The same way you did it to the Israelites, it's going to be done to you times two. That's right. Go ahead. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. See, right now, people don't know that the Lord is real. When this place gets destroyed, he said, then you're going to know that the Lord is real, all right? Go ahead. That's right. Done. Verse 5. Because thou hast a perpetual hatred. See, it's about the perpetual hatred, all right? It's not about the hatred you guys had in the 60s or in the 1930s or in the 1600s. It's the fact that you guys have a perpetual hatred that still goes on to this very, very, very day. All right? Go ahead. Come on. It's and it, it is it is apparent. It's not like we're just reading these words and they're coming back void. When we look into the earth, before we ever read these things, we saw this happening in the earth. 
Then we came and read the Bible and we're like, wow, this is exactly what is going on. But this is the this, this is the reason for it, right? They've had a perpetual hatred, but the Lord made them to be this way, right? He wanted to do something to these guys from the very, very beginning.